Today we're going to talk about the new Rafina Superflex, Superflex Free Rose Gold Edition. It's the newest trial from the Rafina, and today's video we're going to do a full test run on it. We're going to put it through its paces, and we're going to go through a really intensive trial. And there's one video, there's one part of this that makes this trial potentially one of the best trials you can buy. So keep watching, stay tuned and find out why this could be the trial needed for your Flastering Arsenal. So first off, it's new Rafina Superflex like we said, it's the newest one. It's, this is a 16 inch, it's got rose gold, so I mean it's gold plated. And basically, this is Rafina's step up to making a universal flex trial. So basically, they've tried to make it more usable throughout the whole process of plastering. So instead of just using it towards final stages, their aim is to allow you to use it early on in the game. I mean, they say you can even lay on with this trial. First off, I highly recommend you do not lay on with any flexi trials, not even this one. Um, so in the video, I will not be using it to lay on with, but I'm gonna explain what we're gonna do and how we're gonna work it. So basically, the blade is 0.5 thickness, which means it's typically the same thickness as your standard plastering trial. Um, it does still have flex in it though, due to the thin rigid blade, but Again, it's a much stiffer blade, which is why it allows you to use it early on. So, like you say, it's a good looking trowel. It's better when you see it because I've used it now. It's looking a bit worn. Um, first off, I'd say the handle's very comfortable. You get a lot of grip with a new handle. It seems to be a new type of uh, design, but it's, it's very nice to hold, and very nice to grip. Um, but basically, what we're going to do with this trowel is I'm going to use it from pretty much the beginning stage of plastering. Um, before I shot this video, I didn't really use a trowel. Um, usually what I usually do with a trowel review is use it for a month and then put it through its paces and then make a video. With Rafina, I've just thrown them straight in the deep end. <laughs> I give it a bit of a blast with sandpaper, but it really hadn't broken in at this stage. Um, and that's where we'll find out one of the best, best features to this trowel. So what I'm going to do is use it, this trowel from the after the first application. So what I've done before the video, I've laid the plaster on the Marshall Town, flattened it with a speed skim, and then that's when I started flattening it. Any other flexi trial, there's no way you could have done that. With this one, that's what we're exactly what we've done. So, I'm going to walk you through the video. I'm going to be brutally honest about it. Um, I don't want to, I'm not endorsed by Rafina, despite me wearing a t shirt. But um, yes, I'm going to be brutally honest about it. I'm going to say the pros, the cons, and I'm just going to have an overall conclusion at the end whether you should get this trowel or not. So let's go into it. You're going to watch me use this trowel. I'm going to look, start flattening some walls with it, trying to get a finish. It is in my bedroom in my house, um, so I'm taking a risk on my own walls by using it so early. So let's crack on with the video and let's get on. It was quite... It was quite significantly weighty, um, which immediately, I didn't like straight away, I'm not going to lie. I didn't immediately like, but I did find using the trial, the flex did compensate for some pressure on my, um, on my wrist. Again, this is quite early stages, so the pressure isn't quite there yet, but um, as you can see, it's flattening nicely, to be fair. And again, I've definitely not broken this trial in. It is, um, it is very, very fresh, which means... There's going to be a bit of drag, there's going to be a bit of pulling. Um, but again, I'm throwing Rafina in deep end here because I respect him as a company. So, first point, it's quite a heavy trial to use, but it is flattening nicely. The only thing, I did feel the flex in the trial, so I'm going to have to check these walls over, but I'm even at this stage not 100% sure that I'd use a trial at the first. Uh, first flattening. I mean, I, do you know what? I'd probably just stick to my Marshall Town Perma Shape for that stage, just because out of assurance. But we'll see. At the moment, it is flattening. Like I said, they they do allow it to be used that way. But I'd just be a bit cautious to use it all the time flattening. But it's going well. You can see it's flattening the walls nicely, um, and it was quite quite nice to use. Added flex did make a difference. I must admit, it was quite. 
um, quite pleasant to use. So that was the first trial. This is a second trial into plastering. So the plaster is obviously hardening up now. And this is when I started to enjoy using Rafina Superflex Free. It was at this stage I started to appreciate the trial a little bit more. I didn't really get it at the first trial because in my eyes I would have just used my Marshalltown Permashape. I'm not I'm not gonna lie, it's it's well broken in. It's um it's ready to for me I've had it for about six years, so you know I have got that advantage of having a broken in trial. So at that that point I didn't quite understand it. But it's nice to know that th this is when it really came in. For the second trial, it really made a difference. Um I just felt it was, that ed added flex at this stage was lovely. It took away pressure from a wrist, from a joints. Usually the Marshall Town at this point would be really hurting me out. And I found it for wet corners, it was brilliant. The thicker blade, it just made it a dream to use, to do the internals. Obviously I've got three walls on the go here. It was just lovely to work with, to then wet angles, get them nice, crisp and clean. It was, it really made a difference. So... I've not used um, a corner trial, I've not used a twitch in this video, I've just used a super flex um, and it was it was great. This is when I really started to appreciate the trial, this is when I was thinking, okay, I'm, I get it, I'm starting to understand it a bit. It was these stages where the, the plaster started going harder um, and this, and obviously I'm breaking in the trial bit by bit. It was nice for the edges of the windows, it was nice to clean up the the fact that it was left behind and it was lovely on the reveals. I really liked using this trial on the reveals. I don't know why. Compared to the perma shape, I don't know why it was better. I can't really explain it. It was just really quite nice to use on the internals and especially reveals. And you know, you can clean your beads off knowing that you're not going to damage your trial. You're sometimes cautious with the flexi trials to clean them off. As you can see here, scraping the excess back, there's nothing to worry about. So now we're moving on to the wet trial. This is where the plasters especially has gone hard. It's really firming up. And considering I'd really not given this trial any warning beforehand, by this point, the trial's really broken in. And this is where I was starting to realise, okay, this trial's got something. The one thing about Rafina trials, all of them, which makes I've always found fascinating, is they break in so fast. The Rafina Suplex 2 is probably my most rated flexi trial and this just trial broke in rapid at this stage before the first trial it was squeaking a little bit it was pulling it's doing a wet trial like it's nothing it's leaving a lovely finish you can see it on the wall and it's just gliding across this i'll be honest compared to the nella black edition it took about a month and a half to break that trial in and that was one of my worst points to that trial it just took forever this, I don't know what steel they use, I don't know if it's the materials, but the trowel breaks in at a rapid rate, which is what makes this trowel one of the best trowels on the market because you can use it really early on in the game. And if you haven't, if you have got a new Marshalltown trowel, you don't have to worry about breaking in for years on end. It just breaks in within, this is the first day of using it, and I'm comfortable to use it all the way through. So much so that I'm even using it for the dry trowel. Just giving it a test run so you can see that this trial is versatile. You can use it all the way through. Again, not application because I wouldn't do it. But from flattening after the speed skim. For the first trial, right through to the dry trial. And this trial is only going to get better as it breaks in more. As I use it more and as that blade really sharpens up. So this is what could potentially make this trial an absolute game changer for the market. There's no flexi trial you can use throughout the whole process like this. And there's definitely no trowel on the market that breaks in at the speed that Rafina trowels do. So this is what really changed the game for me. Again, would I use it over the Marshall Town for the beginning stages? No, I probably wouldn't. But if you're a new to the plastering, if you haven't got a trowel that is decent you can rely on, then you know that you can get this trowel, get it out of the box, you use it within the day, and then you've got a nice custom trowel to use throughout the whole duration of plastering. So that's what makes this trowel so, so good. Hey, so that's the review of the Rafina Superflex Free Gold Edition. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed watching it. And um, yeah, I'll leave it up to you. Decide whether you feel it's for you or it's a trowel you need for your tool, tool collection. This is a, re a review from Plastering Beginners. Thanks so much for watching. Um, if you like this video, please like and subscribe and please feel free to leave a comment below this video. Let us know what you think. Have you got this trowel? Have you used it before? Have you tried it? 
Let us know exactly what you think. And then, yeah, let us know what your opinion is on the new Rafina Superflex. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers. So I've just come to this class of the corner of the room. My loving wife put a big X in the middle of my unfinished wall. So I'm going to see what happens there when I try it out. It's definitely going to mark it everywhere, isn't it? So, my loving wife leaving her mark on my unfinished wall.